Hey, it's me, Brie, and welcome to or back to my channel. Today I have winter formal, kind of, so I thought that it would be fun to do a little get ready with me. Today, my day has been going very interesting and I'm starting this very late. I just took a shower, but it's not obvious. I haven't done any of my skincare yet since I took a shower and I think it's pointless to do like skincare just to wash it off. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to do that. I know that it's bad to put your hair up when it's wet, which is why I use like one of those like curly plastic rubber bands because I feel like it won't put as much strain on my hair. I've been alternating my skincare routine from day and night. So like in the morning, I'll use a salicylic acid cleanser and then at night I'll use panoxyl, which is like benzoyl peroxide since I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. If you guys watched my last video or my Black Friday haul, you'll know that I got this as like part of it. And I'm really happy I did because a lot of the toners that I've seen require you to like use a cotton pad to like distribute it across your face. And I used to do that forever with a Mari Badescu toner, but using a cotton pad ends up clogging your pores even more. And I found that like after removing the Mario Badesco toner from my routine, like my skin cleared up a bunch. But this like still keeps it satisfying because you can see like all the gunk coming out on your face. And one of the biggest pros about this is that like it gets rid of so much of the dead skin on your face. Once I finish toner, I usually just use a serum. And at night I use like the snail mucin, but in the morning I use the ordinary niacinamide. And honestly, I'm not sure if this has done that much for my face because I've heard a lot of people rave about it and I haven't gotten that surprising results. So I might think about swapping it out for the hyaluronic. So I know that a lot of different people have a lot of different ways about going about their like going out routines. I'm gonna do makeup, hair, and then clothes because my dress is just like one that I can pull on and I won't have to pull over my head. The only thing that I don't like about doing my makeup after my hair is that when I do blowouts, I use that thing in the middle and it makes it really difficult. Even though I have straight hair, I have a hair care routine that I do religiously. I'm not sure if it does anything because my hair still looks fried, but every time after I've taken a shower, I do this routine. So I basically get a hair mask and this one is the Maui Moisture one and I like dip it with my finger and then I basically just mix this with some tea tree oil and I rub it together and then I put it on my roots. Once I've done that, I just take a brush and I spray it with this Pantene Miracle Rescue and I spray it like on like three sides of my hair just so I can get it distributed because you're not supposed to brush wet hair. And then once I've done that, I just brush it bottom to top. I'm actually excited because doing my hair will give me a lot of time to ramble, which I'm going to start doing since I do know that my videos are like get to the point and not very like getting to know me, if that makes sense. And a bunch of my friends have been telling me that I'm super quiet in my videos, which I'm also going to work on. After that, this is like my final step, I just take this coconut oil hydrating oil mist from OGX and I just spray this like three times on my hand and then rub it and put it on my ends. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with the bottom of my hair. And I feel like curling your hair is such a daunting task, which is why I really do it. And my hair is already super damaged because I've used box dye and hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to bleach it for literally like four years so it's so fried okay my straightener is still heating up so i'm just gonna talk about my day so far so while i was showering like i did my nails which was also in another video 
and I kind of regret the way that I did them because they don't suit me in my opinion and they don't go with my outfit which I said that I didn't care about but they don't go with it at all like my dress is black and red and my nails are blue and white so it's gonna look kind of weird but what I'm mad about is that my pinky like before I did my nails it was starting to break so I just put glue on it and then I put gel over it and I thought it would be fine but then it started breaking again and so I put glue on it and I broke again and I started putting glue on it while I was showering it broke the whole thing broke and I'm so mad because it feels bald right now like it looks so stupid compared to the rest and on top of that like I was putting stuff in my mom's trunk and I fell off the curb I fell off the curb. So I was bleeding a ton and it sucked because we couldn't find bandages. So we literally just got some gauze and band-aids and it sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna curl these two strands first. Since it is December and I just got out on winter break, I will be posting a bunch. I'm gonna see if I can try and post twice a week because I have so much time on my hands and I'm really not going anywhere, so I have nothing better to do. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, it helps a bunch. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super excited about going to this formal just because like, a bunch of my friends aren't going to be there and my boyfriend's going to be there so i'm at least happy about that but i at least like to see some of my friends and a big reason why they're not going is because everyone just thought that the tickets were too expensive i'm at least happy about the fact that it's not going to be in a school cafeteria because at my like this is my first year of high school and so like at my middle school the dances were so sad like we were literally just playing music from a computer eating like drinking capri sun and in the cafeteria and like it kind of makes sense because the admission was literally just like five dollars but i'm very interested to see like the different experience it'll be one of the biggest reasons i want to go to this formal is because i have not like had a big high school experience yet because sports haven't started like the sport that i want to do hasn't started and my parents wouldn't let me go to any of the football games because they were worried that something bad was going to happen so i haven't really had any like school spirit opportunities so i finished these two bits and so i'm going to like wrap them a little bit and then i'm going to do the next section of my hair once i finish this layer i just have one more until i am done I just finished the last layer. So since I'm done, I'm going to go to my room and take this out before I start doing my makeup. Okay, so since this is in the way, I'm going to take it out. I'm praying that I did it in the right direction. Okay. Okay, so I, that actually looks really good. I'm very happy. So I'm going to clip it back now and start on my makeup. Before I do my makeup, I put on Supergroup and moisturizer like combined. I always use like unseen sunscreen, but I really want to try out the glow screen. I was supposed to get it, but they were all sold out and they are pretty pricey. Like I think that was like $45 or something, but it has lasted me like a year and I'm just using this water moisturizer that I got in Korea. The concealer that I have right now is way too light for me, but it's either that or one that's way too orange for me or way too dark for me. When I'm covering up, like I have acne, but it's not like severe. Like in my opinion, my acne is pretty bad, but then I remind myself that like I'm pretty lucky because it could be way worse. So. Usually for my under eyes, I will use a beauty blender, but this is like a different kind. I don't like the ones that are like teardrop 
even from the start i never really used beauty blenders just because i didn't feel like they did much and i always liked the covers that i got with a makeup sponge i have been trying to like get more into the dewy sort of makeup looks and so i'm gonna get a bunch more products to kind of experiment with that and i'm just gonna take a kabuki and blend it out over that i've been using the ordinary lash growth and brow growth serum every night and i can see a difference in my lashes i've used it for like two months but I've also seen a difference in my brows, but that could also just be because I stopped shaving them. I am someone that love, love, loves their bottom lashes. And so I used to do like a three-step mascara routine just for my bottom lashes to make them stand out, which I think I'm gonna do tonight because it's formal. But like for every day, I stopped doing that because it was such a hassle. And honestly, this, I accidentally got the brown sky high, but I actually, like it more and when I first got sky high I didn't like it at all because like I would overuse it and so it would get all clumpy so these two products are my holy grail for bottom lashes I use the voluminous L'Oreal lash primer just on my bottom lashes because I find if I use them on the top it'll get really clumpy over that I will use this great lash lots of lashes and this is super dirty but it works so 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 good i always have to go over it with makeup remover because i absolutely suck at putting on mascara and i know that i do my makeup in a super weird order like a bunch of people wait to do eye makeup until the end but i actually do eye makeup and like brows first because that those are the things that I mess up on the most and I have to go over with like makeup remover. And so I figure I'll let them set because I hate removing mascara when it's still wet. I found that like the brow pencil I use right now, which is from Kosas, it is so good. And my friends have been telling me it looks way more natural. So I'm very happy that I switched. I wanna try their finer tip brow pencils just because they my brows are way less sparse than they were when I got this and I feel like it would make it look way more natural. So I did these really quickly and really rushed, so I'll probably touch them up, but that's how they are looking so far. And since it's a formal look, I'm gonna be contouring because usually I just bronze, but I'm gonna contour. This is not really my shade for contour sticks. Like it doesn't compliment me that well, but I'm gonna be doing it anyway. Okay, so I finished contouring and now i'm gonna blend it out so honestly i've never been much of a heavy makeup user and like i've never tried a full full face of makeup like i've tried foundation with like concealer and every other step but i literally don't understand how baking works like i know i know what it is and i know what it's supposed to do but i have no clue how you do it and so i'm really curious on like what it would be like to bake for the first time like bake my face but i usually just keep it simple and i have been wearing concealer a little bit more to school but if i do concealer then i don't usually do bronzer just because like for some reason it takes me so long to get ready in the morning and i don't want to add unnecessary steps to that so now that i finished contouring i'm going to bronze I'm using the Lancome bronzer, which works really well, but I haven't tried many other bronzers to judge it well, but bronzing is usually a very quick step. And next, I'm gonna be putting on blush, and usually I just use Benetint. So this was also in my Black Friday video, and honestly, I really like Benetint. If I were, I would love to get a blush from Benefit, but they're like really expensive. For some reason, my blush is like really pigmented today, even though it's Benetit, but I might just leave it like that. Next, I highlight. If you saw my Black Friday video, you will know the tragedy that happened with my Rare Beauty highlighter and how I was literally rambling about how I didn't need a liquid highlighter and 
what happened because I didn't get one. So I still have that highlighter and I still have the receipt. So you bet I will be returning it and saying it's the wrong color, but I definitely do plan to get the liquid highlighter because that highlighter was a travesty. And usually I never ever ever like highlighted my cheeks, but since I've been going for more glowy looks lately, I've been starting to do it and I really like how it's been working. Another thing I don't understand about makeup is how people pick out lip liner. Because when I actually tried to find a lip liner, I did not know what it was supposed to look like. Like I thought it was supposed to match my regular lips. And when I found one that did, it was literally so weird. And I don't like how it looks when like the lip liner is darker than the color itself. So I was struggling to find one. Last night I was experimenting and I found a combo that worked. And so I'm gonna be doing a red lip. So I'm just gonna take some red lip liner and hope for the best because literally I tried overlighting the slightest bit and I look like a clown. So we're gonna see if I can do this. Okay, I did the best I could and now I'm gonna take some red lipstick and put it on. So I'm pretty sure, oh my God, that looks so dark. I'm gonna see how it looks with my dress and I'll probably end up taking it off if I don't like it. Okay, so I have my dress on and I'm just gonna put on some jewelry. I'm gonna be wearing gold jewelry with this because it's kind of like that and I feel like silver wouldn't match. I don't have any gold necklaces that would go with this, so I'm not gonna be wearing gold necklaces, but I am gonna be wearing these gold earrings from Tory Burch and they were actually part of my Christmas gift, but I got them super early. And so you will still be seeing them in my what I got for Christmas video, but I'm gonna be wearing them tonight and this is what they look like. I really like them. And I'm still not sure if my lips, like the color of my lips goes with my dress. So I'm gonna be doing a 360 so you guys can get the full view. And I literally, I was so unprepared for this formal because I went back and forth between these two dresses that I had for so long because I had no other options. And they were like this one or like a sparkly silver one, which is a big difference. And so I just decided last night on which one I wanted to wear. And I literally just went shopping for shoes today. So it's been a hectic experience, but these are what they look like. This is the finished makeup look and I'll show you my dress. This is a terrible angle, but this is my dress. The bottom is like really frilly. So it's super fun to spin around in. And the back is like, the back is out. I really like it, but I'm not gonna be showing like the shoe part just because my room is a mess and it's really awkward to just show like your feet. So this is the end of the video. If you stayed, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.